So my mentor is Rick Bayless. I have a different way. I never really worked directly under him, although I've had the um, extreme fortune to get to stage at Topla Bampo last year, but that was already several years into my uh, kind of cooking career. But uh, Rick Bayless had a very strong impact on, on the way I started to fall in love with Mexican food and understand it. Uh, the first kitchen I ever worked in was my own at the salsa truck. So uh, I spent almost a year after I had left my white collar job uh, formulating the salsa truck and teaching myself how to cook and, and learning about Mexican food. And I spent an awful lot of time uh, watching Mexico one plate at a time, as well as uh, cruising through that awesome encyclopedia of Mexican food that he has uh, on his website. So when I was thinking of who my mentor is and, and what kind of dish had an impact on me, I went back to one of the very first recipes that I ever cooked uh, off of his website was a crab salpicon. So that's what we're doing today. And using some of the leadership or kind of the mentorship uh, idea and influence um, of Rick is we also uh, try to incorporate as many local influences as possible. And that's definitely something we do at Quixote. So uh, we went to the market, we got some awesome strawberries and we're doing a crab uh, salpicon with a strawberry chamoy today. So um, definitely influence by Rick Bayless. I feel like um, Rick Bayless and the Frontera and Topolo Bampo um, kind of just machine that they are um, is what definitely helped guide me um, and certainly Mexico one plate at a time. I had every one of those episodes DVR'd and would watch them over and over again and that's that's where I think um, I'm pretty proud of my breadth of knowledge of Mexican food and cuisine and um, I definitely owe it to someone like Rick Bayless who opened up those doors and allowed for chefs outside of Mexico um, to be cooking these ingredients and, and to be inspired by it.